Hello everyone, this is the new lossless scaling 2.12 beta. It includes some new features such as a new scaling type, SGSR, Snapdragon Super Resolution. When using this, I recommend setting the sharpness to 8. When I set the resolution to 1000p and use this feature, the game almost looks as good as native 1200p. Also, LSFG1 no longer exists, so you can now only use LSFG 2.3. The most important new feature here is resolution scaling. So, what exactly is resolution scaling? In simple terms, if you set your resolution scale to 50% while playing a game at 1200p, the game will actually render frames at half that resolution 600p, and then upscale them back to 1200p for display. Essentially, the game is rendered at a lower resolution, which can lead to a big boost in performance because rendering at 600p is much less demanding on your system than 1200p. This means you can get smoother gameplay, especially if your hardware is struggling with high resolutions. But there is a trade-off. Lowering your resolution scale can cause a slight reduction in visual quality because of the upscaling. Depending on the game, you may notice things aren't quite as sharp, but this can vary. Some games handle upscaling really well, while in others, the drop in quality might be more noticeable. It's all about finding a balance between performance and visual fidelity. I've tested this out, and my recommendation is to set your resolution scale no lower than 70%. From my experience, if you go below that, things like the game UI and FPS overlays can start to have ghosting effects. So, if you want the best mix of performance and visual quality, 70% is a great starting point. You'll see a performance boost without sacrificing too much in terms of visuals. Next, as usual, I turn on performance mode. Set sync mode to off allow tearing for better input latency, and set the maximum frame latency to 3, which is recommended for AMD. For AMD adrenaline per game settings, I simply turn on Radeon anti lag, set texture filter quality to performance, enable surface format optimization, and set tessellation mode to override at 2x. For Legion settings, I set it to performance mode with a TDP of 25 watts, OS power mode to efficiency, and VRAM to auto. I use RevaTuner to cap the FPS, as it's the best tool for FPS capping with lossless scaling. The FPS cap is based on the game's actual performance. This is the first game I'm testing today, Assassin's Creed Origins. The game is running at 1000p with medium settings, lossless scaling set to X2, Snapdragon Super Resolution Sharpness set to 8, and Resolution Scaling set to 70%. As I mentioned earlier, when setting Snapdragon Super Resolution to 8, the game running at 1000p looks almost as good as native 1200p. Additionally, thanks to Resolution Scaling, lossless scaling doesn't consume as much base FPS as before. You only lose a bit of base FPS when you activate lossless scaling with Resolution Scaling set to 70%. The game maintains a good base FPS, with frame generation doubling the FPS to make the game run smoothly. Ghosting is also less noticeable than before. However, there's no improvement in input lag. I can still feel the input lag when lossless scaling is active, and the character feels heavier to move. This is the downside of the update. If the input lag were improved, it would be much better.
good cop. 